Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I have something really cool that's some exclusive screenshots of the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation, showing us all of the items actually being in the creative inventory. So, if you don't know already, basically 4J Studios are showing off the next big update uh, for Minecraft console at the PlayStation Experience event. So, of course, it's only PlayStation they're showing, uh, but it is a really cool thing because anyone can go up and play this new update. And one Twitter user, his name is Bob Alubu, uh, he's actually posted quite a few screenshots, so I'm using his screenshots here, and I re definitely recommend you. You check him out his link will be in the description thank you very much to him and let's get straight into these screenshots because they show us a lot of stuff we already knew was confirmed but now we can see it it's done it's in the game it's fully working and that's a really cool thing so first of all uh, he shows off the spawn egg slash miscellaneous inventory so as you can see here there's spawn witch he's being hovered over here uh, there's also spawn eggs for the wither skeletons you can also see a horse spawn egg as well as a bat spawn egg so that's a really cool thing right there that's all the new mobs they're sitting there in the creative spawn inventory so that's really cool because it means all of the mobs are definitely finished, they've all just been done, worked on, you can spawn them in the game if you really want to. As well as that, we can see there is a beacon at the top there, between the enchanting table and the uh, end portal frame, uh, as well as that, we can see a name tag and the wither star. So, really cool items there, confirming everything's just done and working and stuff like that, and that's that's exciting to me. So, that's all of the first page of the miscellaneous inventory, if you scroll down, of course, there are the music discs, they're not just gone now, uh, but there's also some fireworks and some fireworks stars, so for some reason, reason it looks like this is one of the features they haven't completed because it only gives you access to four separate fireworks slash oh sorry five separate fireworks slash fireworks stars even though you know there's a massive number of combination of them and it doesn't like there's even a blank one for you to put your own stuff on so either they're doing fireworks in a really different way and they're not giving us full creativity or they haven't finished the fireworks yet which I think is the more likely option because they're not really the biggest of features so uh, it looks like they still have to finish fireworks but that's the only thing that it looks like is incompleted from these screenshots so moving on to the next screenshot it comes from the Skyrim mashup pack, so um, don't worry, the, everything looks different, but it just shows us that they've got all of the coloured stained clay working in the game. Uh, we haven't seen them in any of the screenshots that 4J Studios have posted before, so it's really cool to see them. They're finished, they're done, and they're a really big thing. If you do a lot of building, if you do any amount of building, they're really cool because as well as just wool, which has the funny texture, stained clay is a really nice smooth texture across the whole block, and it means building is just a lot easier if you want to do really complex stuff. So, yeah, it's got all the colours of stained clay here, all working on the game just fine. They're quite simple stuff, but they're really big for builders, and even as, as I said, just for anyone, really big deal. So, just a quick note, I thought at the top there, there were some prismarine blocks uh, hiding there, but that's actually just uh, quartz is blue in the Skyrim mashup pack, I went and checked. Just in case you're like, oh, is that a secret feature? No, it, it doesn't look like any of these screenshots show us any features from future updates, so it looks like it's mainly going to be a 1.6 update, which is fair enough, that's still three massive updates all in one. So, uh, finally here, we have a screenshot of the redstone, and this is where a lot of stuff comes in because of course there was the redstone update which is almost entirely redstone so first of all uh, at the top there you can see there's the two new minecarts there's the minecart the tnt and there's the minecart with the hopper uh, if you head a little bit uh, to the left there you can also see there's the new activator rail all working just fine sorry if you can hear my cat now <laughs> she's sitting on my lap um but yeah as well as that if you look down there you can see all stuff we have already until you get to the third layer down where you can see there's the new redstone block just sitting there next to the redstone it looks really cool it's in my opinion it's quite cool uh and then you know, a few more blocks we already have, and then it's all new blocks past the tripwire hook. So there's the daylight sensor working just fine. There's the dropper, there's the hopper, there's the redstone comparator, there is the trap chest, seemingly, and then there are the two weighted pressure plates. So that's everything redstone in this next update that should be there, all just uh, sitting there showing us that it all works just fine, which is really cool. So uh, what we can tell from these screenshots is that the update is very, very close to completion. It looks like every major feature that I can think of is working the update. I imagine. Imagine there's still a few more tweaks they're going to be doing, so it looks like fireworks need some work, and it looks like maybe, you know, stuff in the terrain, like, you know, chests probably aren't in the never yet, but small stuff like that they have to work on, and then it looks like the game will be, you know, entirely finished. So, I think we'll be seeing a release potentially uh, before this Christmas. It's a potential thing, I, I wouldn't mark your calendar and say that it's a done deal and that it's definitely coming out before Christmas, but, you know, they have been known to just surprise us by not saying anything and then suddenly releasing an update just before Christmas, that did happen a couple years ago, maybe they want to repeat the same thing this year because of how long it's been or maybe they've just got too much to do and it's going to have to wait till just after Christmas. How Either way, we'll be seeing this update in the next month or two max. It's very close to completion and that's an exciting thing. There's so many cool things coming. Let me know what your favourite feature in this update is and uh, let me know what you think about the fireworks style thing and also maybe a release date prediction in the description, uh, through the comments down below. Uh, like the video if you did like it, share it if you really liked it because these are some cool screenshots and I'll see you guys in the next video which is later today. It's uh, Q&A Sunday. I've 
I've done three videos today. Make sure you check them all out. Thank you for watching and goodbye.